Hello, it's Mr. O'Mara here. I'm going to set up a quick bit of programming for you just to give you a demonstration of how it's done for those who don't know. So I'm here in the LEGO 2.0 um, NXT programming environment and I'm going to create a new program which I'm going to call um, Wall Bouncer. Bouncer, there we go. And I click on Go and there's the window. Um, this is the starting point of the program here as you can see, uh, and that is where our first piece of code will go. Now there's a couple of ways of organising yourself on the side here. You can use all those coloured icons there, or you can use uh, this palette here. I'm going to go with this just because it's enough for what we're doing, but it actually gets you to exactly the same things. So you click on it, and there's a block of code to move it. Now down the bottom, it'll actually give you the detail of that code. So I'm just waiting for that to load. That's actually taking much longer than it normally would. Uh, we're still sitting there not responding. Uh, oh, there you go, we're back in action. So, let's have a look at the detail, detail down the bottom. We're going out to our actuators on ports A and B, so you check your robot to make sure it really is plugged into the A and B ports. The direction is forward, and the steering here, you can actually steer it off to the side, uh, or go straight ahead, and I'm going to keep going straight ahead. So that's pretty easy, the power's at 75%. And that's just one rotation. And one rotation just means it's just going to turn the wheel. You know, if this is a wheel, hang on, empty that out. It's just going to turn once. That's one rotation. So, and I'm going to set it to coast so that it doesn't actually stop the wheel spinning at the end. It just lets it turn if the machine's got enough momentum to keep turning. So, that very simple program will just, you turn it on, it will move forward one rotation and then stop. But we want to make it a bit more sophisticated than that. So I'm going to grab a loop over here. Click on the loop, and as you can see, there it is. So I'm going to drop it in ahead of the action. Now, then I pick up the action and drop it into the loop. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's not impossible to do. Now, as you can see, this loop has the infinity sign on the end, and that basically means it's going to keep doing that over and over and over again. So this robot with this current program will just go forward forever. So I'm going to make a change to that. Instead of going forever, I'm going to have it looking for a sensor. And in fact, I'm going to have it looking for the ultrasonic sensor. Now, the ultrasonic sensor is the one that's got like two little eyes on it, like, you know, number five is alive. And one of those eyes throws out sound and the other one catches it as it comes back and it measures the time that that takes. And that's how it knows how far away it is. And that's the way that, you know, submarines and stuff, those, ultra, those um, sonic um, devices work. So let's have a quick look at this. Um, ultrasonic, yes, uh, port 4, so if it's not port 4 you probably want to change that or you can change it here in your code. The distance it has in inches, because this is predominantly an American program, I'm going to change it to centimetres and say 50 centimetres. So, 50 centimetres, and then I'm just going to click back on the main window, and now we have it set up to go. Um, that piece of code will run until the sensor senses that it is less than 50 centimetres away from an object. Now, the real trick with this is it won't do any sensing. It only does sensing in this part of the code here. It actually won't be sensing at all while it's moving forward. And that's why I've only got it going one revolution. So it's going to turn and check and turn and check. Because if you set it going for, say, five seconds, it would go for five seconds and then check go for five seconds and then check, and you could very easily run into the wall. I would suggest that once you've built this and made it work, that you play with that figure of one rotation and see if, you know, if it would flow more smoothly if it were different to that. But for now, there's a very simple program for you to build and hopefully um, have you on the first big step towards um, defeating this challenge.